Well, hey everybody, Geezer Tony here once again. We're back out at the Siler City Country Club, and today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to play from the back tees. Now this course isn't overly long. I think it's 6,600 and something from the back tees. I'm going to do a series this spring with playing a lot of longer courses from the back tees up to 7,000. So this will be a starter. We're going to do a few holes, maybe nine. I'm not sure how many. Let's see how this goes. So let's get started. Okay, we've got 111 to a middle pin, and the breeze, a pretty good breeze helping. So I'm going to go with uh, 56 sandwich, which usually goes around 100, and the wind should help it get there. That's looking pretty good. So we've got nine feet left. It's a little, maybe a little downhill, but it's going to break pretty hard to the left. All right, it's a good start. Okay, hole number two is a par five dog leg left. It's right at 500 yards. I'm going to try to turn this driver over just a little bit. But if it goes straight out, it's fine too. Oh, it's really good there. May have a chance to go for it. Okay, we have 197 left. It means I hit that drive almost 300, but it is downwind. But still, a geezer's proud of it. A six iron, I'm going to try to carry it about 180 ish between the bunkers on the green. So we'll see how this goes. It's a little left. May go in that bunker. Okay, that was a, that was not a very good six iron. I should have been on the green, but I miss hit it, and here we are. So I've got about a seventy foot chip, and I'm going to go with the sand wedge because it's elevated. So we'll see if we can get this one in, in birdie range here. Could be pretty good there. Well, like the pros, I should have walked up here and taken a look because the flag's a good bit farther back than I thought it was. So I'm left with about 10, 12 feet here. Re reasonably straight, it may go a little bit right. No. Okay, hole number three is 183 from the back tee here. And we got a little breeze in our face. I've got to hit that same six iron that I just hit. I hope I hit it better than I did. Hit it for the right edge. So I've got about a 40 foot chip here. It's very uphill. It's going to break hard to the left up near the hole. And since I have such an uphill line, I'm going to use a gap wedge to help me get it there to the hole. I'm hoping to chip it up where well, I don't have any work left for par.
That'll just about do it there, yeah. We got two feet uphill with a little bit of left brake. And a par. Okay, hole number four is uh, 418. Straight away par four. There is a, a creek down there in the bottom, but unless I miss hit it, I should be able to get over it pretty pretty easy. Let me see if I'm yeah, I'm okay here. Yeah. Not very good. Okay. We're gonna have a long shot to the green. Well, we're left here with uh, 190 yards. As I said on the tee, I didn't have to worry about this creek unless I miss hit the drive, which I did, and it barely got over. So we've got 190 up the hill. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with six, even though it's really not enough club because I think it's going to fly out of this uh, stuff. And the pin's up front, and the ground is hard. Very well hit. I'm not sure if it's on the green, but it's got to be close. Okay, we, we turned out pretty pretty decent there, knowing that I had underclubbed on purpose. We've got about uh, 35 feet uphill, breaking to the right. And... Um, I am going to put this, which is a little out of the ordinary for me. It just feels right. Ooh. Pretty good, pretty good. Now we got a little bit downhill. I've got to play this ball just outside the hole on the right. Okay, we scraped out a par on that one. Hole number five is a par four, sharp dog leg left. It's 386, so I'm going to hit driver and try to turn it over, come around the uh, dog leg a little bit. I'm going to try to hit this driver and, and draw it around pretty strong, I hope. Oh, yeah. I, I would like to have drawn it a little more, but I'm sure that one's going to be fine. Okay, we're up in this dirt area that I'm sure you've seen before if you watch my videos. We've got um, 108, a little bit elevated, a little bit of wind at us. So we're going we're gonna to hit the gap wedge. The only thing I do differently off the dirt is I play it a ball width farther back and I just really make sure I stay down and hit it, not miss hit it. You can't help it do anything, you just have to make a normal swing. That's just off the green to the right. Okay, I got a little bit of a tough one here. You got a downhill. We got a little downhill lie. I mean, a downhill shot. I'm below the hole, but the, the green is laying down, so I'm going to have to pop this up a bit. I overdid it, but got that for par. Okay, I got um, about 12 feet downhill breaking to the left. I think I'm going to play about four inches out. Try to get the speed right. A little too strong. It couldn't turn in. Oh, well. Bogey. 
So hole number six is another par five. This one's 535 from back here. Most likely won't be reaching this one in two. We hit a good drive and a good uh, second shot and have a short shot to the green. So I just need to go out towards the middle. Nothing special. Ah, yeah, perfect. Wow. So we have forever to the green. I'm not even going to measure it. I know it's 200 to that right fairway bunker. So I'm going to do something that I do on occasion. Just for fun. I'm going to hit driver off the deck. See if I can get it past that right bunker. Oh, yeah. Love it. Now, we're left with 54 yards. Um, and the, the green is two levels, and the, the flag is back on the top level. So rather than use a 56 wedge, I'm going to use a 52 to, to try to help get it up to the top instead of having to hit something harder. So I hope this will hit on the bottom and, and then roll up to the top. That's my intention anyway. Hit it a little hard. Well, it's still on the green. I hit it a little harder than I wanted to. So I hit that, uh, that pitch shot 21 feet long, which isn't normally that great. But I think it's better than hitting it short and having to put up that tier, that second level. So I'm not that disappointed with it. I would like to have been closer. But we, we have what we have. So I got 21 feet and it's downhill. It should go just a, a little bit left. Not even hardly a ball or two outside the right of the hole. Not moving though. I'm, I'm just terrible, terrible read. I mean, it broke the wrong way from what I read. Hole number seven, par three, 172 from back here to a front pin. It's a tough hole. There's a lot of slant on the green. And it's even if you hit the green, it's uh it's just a hard green to putt. Looking pretty good, middle of the green. Yeah, I'm real happy with that. Okay, 15 feet, pin high, greens like this. So it's tough to make these putts. And I think that's the defense of this course is the slanted greens because it's overly long and it's not overly difficult other than the greens. Tough to make a putt unless you just happen to be in the right place. So we're going to play this one uphill. And I'm going to give it about three balls left. At some point, you know, you figure you're just going to luck one in. If I'd have hit that one, it would have gone, but I just didn't get it there. Tough to get everything right, yeah. The line and the speed have to match. Hole number eight. Par four, 382. It's quite uphill. And dog legs around behind those bunkers you see there. But we want we don't want to mess with that. We want to go straight out. It's a one of the tougher par fours out here because it's uphill. So see if we can hit a good drive and go from there.
That'll do. The shot measured 155. True yardage, and it's a little bit uphill, and we have a very slight breeze at us, so I'm going to play it as a 160-ish, and I'm going with 8 iron. A nice smooth swing ought to do. So we have close to 30 feet here. Downhill, it's going to break a pretty good amount to the left. So this is one where I just try to roll down in the area and don't try too hard to make. And sometimes those are the ones that go in. Basically, I'm playing for par here. I almost called it. Easy par. Hole number nine, par four. 344. You can, I don't know if you can see on the camera, the, the entire fairway leans like this, so it's tough to keep it in the fairway. And quite a different look than down there on the regular men's tee. It's uh, almost 50 yards longer. So I'm going to try to hit one up the right side. Actually, let me change that. I'm going to play it down the left side and hit a cut, a little bit of a cut, I hope, to hold it into that hill. Yeah, just what I wanted. Perfect. Okay, we're left with 105. A pretty steep hill and against a little breeze. So I'm going to go with my 120 gap wedge. 120 and 125. I think we're going to need that to get there. Looks pretty good. Well, it's on there somewhere. We'll see. Let's say we ended up with 15 feet. It's going to be a lot of break to the right. It's actually almost level. Once again, we've got to match that line and speed, so let's give it a roll and see what happens. Play it plenty high. Way too high. Giving it too much respect. But, once again, it's a par. So, not a bad experiment. Uh, I think we ended up even par. Even par for the nine holes. They had a birdie and a bogey from the back tees. And again, this is not an overly long course. But, if you enjoyed this, um, this is kind of an introduction to a series I'm going to do later this spring and into the early summer. I'm going to go to some of the better courses around here and in Greensboro and play from the back tees just to see what I can shoot. And these courses are 7,000 plus. So it'll be interesting to see what an old geezer can do from that long. So I, I have fun doing it. Also, if you don't want to miss that, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell and you will be notified when I put out a new video. So for now, this is Geezer Tony signing off. Till next time.